Hello everyone, welcome to my Laravel e-commerce project. In this video, I want to explain my project database, tables and fields. This project is single language and single currency project. I want to show you why we created these tables and fields for our project and how we did relation about between our tables <coughs> first of all we have a settings table settings table is all application all project we need to save we need to store some settings about our project for our project this web application project we need to we need to define main title main keywords main description about our project for that we define title keywords description then we need the company information you can add more information about your company about this static information about company this company name address phone fax email or you can add more next group is smtp from our project sometimes we need to send automatic email uh, what kind of email activation email or uh, order complete email like that something the our project should use a email server use email you use password password and smtp port for that we need to define these settings in for our project uh, some of framework they has place that we can define these fields about smtp but in any case we need to define in settings area maybe we can use for our our project the another group is social media you can define so social media in this area a lot of so social media or you can define yours you can save your social media uh, at a different table what is differences between this style and this style in this case you have limited social media that you can define for your project for example we have a four social media if you want to add more you need to open this table and you need to add more field it is it is not easy but if you define like this you can add you don't have limit about the social media how many social media account you need to define for your project or you need to uh, record for your uh, application it's up to you in this style you don't have record uh, limit in this style you have limitation it's up to you for your project for simple i define like this but you can use like this it is true way the another some page uh, we define at the settings area like about us contact or references something you can define if your project is simple you can define in this area or you can create a pages table and you can define a lot of page that you can show in your project and status like that you can activate your application or not it is up to you important is in this uh, table all project need the settings table you need to save some settings value setting things about your project all every application has settings for example this excel has a options like that options you need to you need to save your options or settings in somewhere in your in database like that all project has a settings options p references like that okay another user 
This, the main user table is include username, surname, email, password is important. Uh, why it is red? Because I want to change this for that you can see with maybe white color. Okay. Why you define as a red? Because uh, most all a lot of framework they created user table they has a uh, tools that can create user and login for project uh, for that i colored the red maybe you don't need to create user table manually your framework can create for you a user table if you if you want to use add more information about the user you can create you can create a user profile table and you can define between user and user user profile table one to one relation like that uh, and you can add more information about the user but main user table in laravel the laravel framework with the jet stream installation the framework created for us user table we don't need to create okay next category category so in some project we can say menu some of them is category the for web application project is category it's parent id it is about to, i will explain from from here we need the title, keywords, description, category, image, and status, active or enable, enable or disable. For status, we have a status for all of table. We have a status created and updated it. It is, comes from the uh, framework. The framework needs a timestamp. It is about the timestamp. For category or menu, why we I define parent ID because we define category or menu uh, infinitive infinitive style category category tree menu tree this is infinite infinitive style that you can define for example I want to show you basic information how we can define infinitive category tree for our project for example we have a ID like this basic information parent ID and title I want to show you with parent by ID and, and uh, with title for example we have a main category the main category is main does not has any parent in this case we can we can keep blank or we can uh, give the zero value this main main category I can color it with different color the, because this main category. Okay, this main category from the zero, you can see. Um, for example, we have a university books, but under university book we have a sum of books different university books physics chemistry mathematics they have id and if you want to define under university book you need to define parent id as a university also this is main category i want to color it like this this main category Uh, these books categories parent is university books as you can see we defined the four because university book parent is university book university book id the another for example we have a under computer we have a computer network book the parent is computer the programming language category parent is computer 
We have under programming language PHP book and Python book for example. Parent is the computer programming language. This is this first level, this second place level, this second level, this third level. As you can see, I can change the color for uh, my level. Okay, you see, it's different level of the, the f level one, level two, level one, level two, level three. You can see, you can define infinitive, three level, four level, five level. It's up to you, but you can define in this style. In this style, you can define like this. I will show you at the future of the project at the next video of the project how we can uh, handle this menu how we can create this menu with application because you need to recursive your function it is complicated that programming is complicated if you understand if you understand this category tree or menu tree if you can program this structure and if you can get your data like this it mean you are as a pro you are developer you good, good developer the another we have a main main table it is everything it's about to this main table our table is product or it is we can say product because book is product we can say book it's up to us we have a title, we have a keyword description, as you can see, same information. We have image, main image of this book. We have a category, you see, we have a category with uh, this area, uh, which relation we have between category and product. We have a uh, one to many relation I want to add one to many or many to one relation is one to many relation because each each in this in this structure because we we want to keep simple in this structure each product has just one category the category has many product It is defined with the one to many relation or many to one relation. I will check. But it's not one to one to many, many to one, it's same relation. Okay. In this structure, what category has many product? The product has one category in this relation. Also, we need to add a book and other fields, price, quantity writer a lot of things about the book year page numbers like that this product need the more images image gallery how we can define this also we need to create relation product and product id we can add images for this product and related with the product ID and another things we need to add the comment table come come table it's about the product who write this comment for for which product with product ID we need to write comment we can say like this review we can say comment review it's same thing rate our comment and we can store IP also and status true false disable enable the next is frequently asked questions 
in this section and the question answer status the another is contact message the name email phone subject message it's up to you this field is up to you you can take also IP numbers this main table this main table about our project a lot of project table a lot of project table is same a lot of project they need same tables but some of project is they need specific tasks for example for a commerce project we need the show card uh, for shop card we need to store product id and user id and quantity we don't need to store another information for example product title product image something because we we need to get product information with the product relation and if you want to order this product these shop cart items we need to in this case we need the two table two table the one is the main information about the order for example which one is main main information it is it is ship cargo or shipment information shipping information name surname email address phone and total status like that we can store like that information but in this order we have a many product we have a many product in this case we need to we need to move all of this product from the two orders product because this order has many product that why we separate it with a different uh, table user id product id order id plus amount total and we need to store this information for this order why because for example i have a i have this information from the profile user profile why i define i get this information in this area again because maybe my my own information my user information is different from the shipping information or i want to i want to uh, order something to my friend for the, my mom for the, my parents i want to send with a different person and a different address that why we need to define at the order area of course on the professional project we need to define addresses we need to def we need to create a addresses table and we need to define a lot of addresses and at order time we need to select one but in this project we are keep this project very simple that's why i store the shipping address information in order table okay this uh, information about the table about the database i think it's enough we will see detail of this database also in future of this project thank you for watching see you in the next video